What's up? Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net and today we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we are going to be creating this. Just a simple little animation here. Looks like a pen writing on paper. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I've already got my new composition open so let's go ahead and get our div. And let's bring it to about right up in there. Come over here to our transfer tool, transform tool. And you can barely see the little dot. Let me zoom into this. So you see these little diamonds right here? You're gonna grab a hold of that diamond. You're gonna drag it down. Then you're gonna pull it to your left. And then let's scroll back out or zoom back out I should say and drag it out some more and then pull it up and as you can see it gives us a point so that is our pin so let's go ahead and move our pin over to the side here and let's go ahead and name that pin and next thing we want to do <coughs> is that we want to grab a hold of another div and let's put this one about right up in here. That's good enough. And let's get our transfer tool. And come over here until you see the little half circle with the arrow. You rotate it out. And put it about where you want it at. We want to control C, command C on the Mac, control V, command V on the Mac, drag it out to the side, and then rotate it. And move this one to the left a little bit more, and just a little bit more. Okay, that should do it. Okay, now we are going to cut off the eye on that one. And so the first thing that we're going to do here is that we are going to double click and we want to start from here and go out to this area here. Now choose our first rectangle and go down to zero. Now from our pen tool we want to move it down like so. Okay, so we don't we don't want that to be in reverse here, and right now we're going in reverse. So let's back up. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're gonna put you at zero. Then we're gonna go out to here. Then we're gonna change you to 118. We're gonna go back and let's see. Now we grab you and bring it down to here. Let's move you up just a little bit and over. And there you go. Okay. Now this is our first line. And this is our second line. Now with our second line, we want to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and bring its eye open. And its length is 118, same as the other one. So we're going to come out to double click. Come out to about here. That way there's a little bit of a pause. We'll click there. Choose. Well, actually we want to zoom in on this one. Okay. Now, it's 118 is its height. Whoops, that's back there. Now let's go ahead and get rid of that since it's going to bring it open anyway. Now let's click on here and drag it down to the bottom. Okay, and then go out to about right here. Put it at 118. Except it this way. 
and now with our pin we want to drag our pin up to here and then right there we choose zero so let's drag out our animation just a little bit further than what it is that way it takes a little bit longer and now let's zoom back out and there you go that's how you write on the screen so to speak Okay, I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick little tip inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and uh, maybe y'all can write something. I've tried to do it with a circle, a uh, circle div, so I'm not really quite sure exactly how to do that one. So if anybody else knows how to do it, uh, please post a video and let us all know. Y'all have a good one now. Take care. Have a rocking week.